Welcome to Crypto Game, where people like you come to hear the truth about the current financial economy and how to benefit from it. In today's topic, we have crypto investor and co-founder of Real Vision, Raul Powell, giving us his top five reasons to invest now while the market is low. Stay tuned because later in this video, we give you two research crypto coins you may want to consider adding to your portfolio to see a return on investment. The big question of this video is, why does Rob Powell believe time is running short? And why now is the best time to invest into the crypto market? We'll be giving his top five reasons and breaking down his strategies so that you can use it to your advantage. Starting now. Five, the upside of a market rebound. So even if now, I mean, I think we all think the low is in, but let's assume it's not. Let's say there's another 50% downside from here. Well, the upside when you get to these kind of levels after the sell-off is about 10 to 20x. So 50 basis points downside, 10 to 20x upside is like, you know, Mooch, we've been in the business for a long time. You never get these opportunities yep. in your lifetime. You might get one if you were lucky in some VC deal, but in an entire market that goes up 20x and it does it periodically in this exponential trade, we never get this. Volatility gives the reward, right? Right. So because it's a 70 vol asset, gives these 20, 50, 100 exits, depending on what time period you're looking at. And people just are not set up for that because they are mean reversionists. They think the world is cyclical and everything reverts back to where it was. So therefore, every boom has a bust and every bust brings it back to where it started. As consumers and investors, we tend to freak out when the market is bearish. There's an old saying that goes, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. The reason being is the rich have a discipline and strategy in place when things look bad. Four, ride it out. But I went back and looked at all the times I traded Bitcoin from 2013 when I first got in at 200. I rode it up, to, it went up to, it went up to 2000, uh, to 1000, so it went up 5x in two months, went all the way back down 85%. I just held it because I, I wanted to treat it like an option. I wanted to see, and I had a 10 year view. And so, and I said, listen, it's probably going to 100,000, worst case, a million best case over the next 10 to 20 years. So I held it, it went back 85%. It rallied all the way back up and I got out during the forking wars uh, in 2018, 17. And i have made 10 times my money and thought I was a genius. It went up another 10X and then came back down again, so it was fine. I went back and then I rebought in 2020 in that sell-off. I went back and did the maths on my much smaller position that I started with versus the much bigger when I really went in, you know, irresponsibly long in 2020. If I'd have just held my original stake, I'd have made five times as much money by not, and I traded it well, I made money every time. And if I'd have just held it, I'd have made five X. If I'd have just doubled, just keep adding my original stake every time it's sold off in the big cycles and got down to that five-year moving average, I'd have made 25x. Riding it out means you cannot be short-sighted. Raul Powell is thinking 10 to 20 years down the road when Bitcoin is worth anywhere between 100000 to $1 million. So stay in the game. 3. Secret Web 3.0 Projects so if we want to talk about how to get to the next 100 million, it'll happen at paces we don't yet understand. There are many of these Web3 projects of corporates that we don't even know about that have done million, have put millions of people into this economy. And once you're in, you've got the wallet. Once you're in, you start thinking, OK, what else is this? What can I do? And it comes. You see, money is money and making money is not a use case for everybody it's a use case for people who want to invest and want to make money out of it but the enabling of blockchain technology at scale is something we won't even notice i mean i've seen there's some amazing wallets like vatum who don't even have you don't even know what blockchain your tokens are on it doesn't matter right so you don't do this you know long string all of this you drag and drop 
and it can be Solana, it could be ETH, it could be anything and it works. And then it won't become that because then I go to a concert, I get a ticket, my ticket goes into my wallet, that becomes a memento. It may give me unlock to other access, something else. So there's so much coming. So the the billion, the next billion people are not going to be buying Bitcoin. There are a bunch of people who don't care about adoption. They want adoption on their terms. Now, having been yeah. around for a while, things don't happen on your terms. You can't dictate terms. However hard you try, you can't. You accept the terms of this distributed network of millions of people who are using cryptocurrency. That will be where it goes. That's consensus. This brings us to our bonus tip and what we recommend you should consider as a good cryptocurrency investment. One crypto token that we consider on clearance at this moment is Avi. Launched in November 2017, Avi is a decentralized financial protocol that allows people to lend and borrow crypto. It was at an all-time high of $454 just one year ago, and currently sits at $88 per token with a steady rise in value. You can invest in this crypto coin tax-free by using an IRA loophole. Follow the link in the description below to learn how. Stay tuned for the next investment coin in this video, and subscribe now because in each video, we give you crypto coins we've researched, so you don't have to. 2. Peak of inflation So where are we now? We're in a situation where inflation has most likely peaked. From my work, I think inflation comes down very fast. So that fear narrative is gone. And that was holding back crypto. And so you take that away and the beach ball can start rising out of the water. This brings us to our next bonus tip and what we recommend you should consider as a good cryptocurrency investment. Another crypto coin that's on clearance at this moment is Internet Computer. Launched in May 2021, Internet Computer seeks to introduce Chain Key technology. Chain Key technology is a scientific breakthrough that powers Internet computers, which makes it possible to add new nodes, form subnets, implement scalings, and fix bugs. It was at an all-time high of $87 just a year ago and currently sits at $6 per token with a steady rise in value. You can invest in this crypto coin tax-free by using an IRA loophole. Follow the link in the description to learn how. Subscribe now because in each video we give you crypto coins we've researched so you don't have to. 1. Trust the correction. Um, so now... We're going into this area of congestion, as you say, Mark, which is whether it's the ETH kind of 2000 to 2300 level mm -hmm. or whether Bitcoin, you know, the 24,000 level. And we need to clear that. Bitcoin's been sluggish, but that's okay. It doesn't have to catapult off the low. Uh, ETH's obviously got the narrative behind it. Yeah. So I look at how the market is structured, the price charts. I think there's a broader downward sloping wedge that comes in at 23,000 in the year 2300 and ETH. I'm mainly focused on ETH. 2300 and ETH. I think we go and kiss that line. We haven't had three touches of the line yet. So normally it pulls back into the range and then goes. So to me, it's yeah. kind of like as Arthur Hayes wrote is, I think everybody's underweight the merge still. Yeah. People will get into the merge or post merge. We'll get this spike. We probably get a pullback. A lot of people will say, see, it's going back to the low. My guess is it corrects sideways, does something or back into the range for a bit, and then we explode higher. So I'm very bullish right now. You know, short term, we're getting close to the oversold, overbought, but I think we've just had a correction. My guess is we go again. What's fascinating is to see the forwards markets and the futures markets is everybody's hedging ETH merge risk. So they're buying ETH, selling the futures. Now, somebody's gonna have to lift that hedge off at some point. The market has and will always correct itself. Don't wait for the market correction to jump in. Jump in now while we're at all-time lows. In today's interview, Raul Powell gave us his point of view on getting in now while there's still a chance to enter the market at low rates. Right now, the market is on clearance. Don't miss the sale. We'll see you in the next episode.